3210 is an outcomes-based course, and it's really important for you to understand the alignment of outcomes, activities, and assessments uh, to provide a context for the work that you're going to be doing in the course. The course outlines that you can see here in the course syllabus online um, are, are really important for you to understand and they're directly related to your activities and the assessment. You're going to be developing a curriculum for a course or a workshop. You're going to be developing a lesson plan. You're going to create a course syllabus or an outline uh, that corresponds to that course you develop. Um, you're going to provide a rationale for those documents that you create. And you too are going to um, do the alignment that I'm talking about here, and you're going to apply the concept of alignment of uh, the outcomes, activities, and assessment in your curriculum design. So this is extremely important that you understand the outcomes, because when I start to show you the assignments, things will start to fall into place. So with respect to the assignments for 3210, you really have only four assignments. Now, there's some parts to those assignments, but there's really four assignments. And if we really want to look at the big picture, there's one major assignment, and then there are two related assignments to that major assignment, and then the reflective uh, piece supports that as well. So the major assignment is that you are going to either choose a COMPSI-based DACOM chart or an outcomes-based outcomes guide, and you're going to develop that along with 10 performance objectives or outcomes. Um, and then once you develop this course profile or the course profile chart, we often we also refer to it as a course map or a course plan. Once you develop that, you're also going to develop a rationale which is the part B. Um, and then you're also going to have an opportunity to provide a reflection. I'll explain that in just a minute or two um, and give you a bit more details on that. So this assignment overview is to provide a big picture. I'm going to go into greater detail with each of the assignments in each of the sections, but I want you to understand. So you've got the development of your course or workshop right, the course or, or workshop profile. Then from that, you develop a lesson plan. In addition to the lesson plan, you provide a rationale for why you did the things that you did. In the same way that you provide a rationale for why you chose competency based versus outcomes based and, and why you designed the things that you designed. Okay, um, you'll have an opportunity to provide a bit of a reflection as well, and I'll explain that in just a minute. And then the uh, third related activity to the course, or, or the second related activity to the course rather, is a course outline or a syllabus. Okay, so the syllabus that you might have seen in college or university or a course outline, you're going to develop one of those. Again, it's related to your course. So the central focus of the curriculum development um, course is your development of a course and the course profile chart. Okay, now you also have a reflective writing component where you've got uh, three entries, and these are essentially journal entries where you focus on identifying some ideas, you reflect on those ideas within a structure that we provide, and you submit those. And the whole idea with the reflective writing is that we know from the research that if you think about your thinking and about your thinking about your thinking, that reflective component helps you to internalize and really make the ideas your own. So there's three small reflective assignment activities that we want you to engage in that will help you think about curriculum, how you design curriculum and look at skills, and then um, give you the opportunity to take a look at some ideas in curriculum and then reflect on those ideas and to show your growth and development. Uh, again, these are more along the lines of a journal log, but we'll, we'll provide, I'll provide specific details as to how that really works. So it's important that you take a look at these components. Part A and B are submitted together. Part C is simply a resubmission after you've made some adjustments. You have the opportunity to reflect on the changes that I recommend, and then you simply uh, submit those changes. Similarly, with your lesson plan, you um, take the feedback that I give you, you submit those changes in the form of a reflection, and you'll, you'll get those points as well. So hopefully this provides a context for what you're doing, the bigger, broader picture. And um, as I had mentioned, I'll go into greater detail as I go along.